Hello everyone. As you can see, our famous actor Liam Neeson, I think. Yes, Liam Neeson should be. Now, now where to start? It's a it's a it's a beautiful portrait. The only thing is that there's not much contrast on it. Or at least I didn't um, took I didn't take a, a screenshot of much contrast, but we'll work with what we have. Let's simplify this, shall we? So let's do start with the hair, top here, there, and slowly get the shape of his of his head. So yeah, that line here, which will be basically his uh, his uh, don't I got there because I got my self here, the shadow. So try not to get on the way. So here, that's this side of his face, very angular, like 30 degree. And then you have the hair, again, getting the hair on this side, which is that area. And I'll try and simplify it as much as I can, or as quickly as I can. So getting this shadow here, here you got the eyes, well the eyebrows at least, and uh, trying to get the likeness. No, somewhere here. Then um, jaw. Uh, I need to push it back, push it this way. I can push it, push the portrait more towards the right. There, there, there. So I've got a bit more space to develop his jacket. There, to work on his jacket. There. Then you have the jaw line, which is that one here. Then, uh, chin, somewhere here the nose. Then you've got the side of his nose there. Side of the nose, then you have the cheekbone and all that well first of all my charcoal is not behaving well i need to flatten it because you see i'm just working sideways and then leaving it's leaving lines and i don't want those lines I'm trying to get rid of this line so get a flat surface here and to get as flat as you can the surface there you got the hair is um ear right up here the ear exceeds the hair so you can see here look it goes right up at the side of his hair here ah oh, charcoal again let's get the charcoal from the floor get him back here there you go this Hair here, and his root root of the hair here. Here you go. This side of the hair. This 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 here, and then the forehead. Moving it this way. Yeah, keeping the eyebrow correctly. So you see, I'm working. Well, I'm trying to get as much of his outer line here. If you squint your eyes, you'll see the background becomes one with the mouth, or well, it gets with the flesh tone. So the value, the value scale is very similar, if not the same in some parts. Like for instance here. So I got rid of the line as much as I could. Then you get the neck. And underneath the neck, you got the shadow here, look. So that's the cast shadow of the neck. Now, here we do, we do have very, very sharp, very, very dark. 
leather jacket, obviously. So now the top of where the leather jacket ends up is just above the uh, nostril. So if I come with the leather jacket here, then the nostril will be here. So the horizontal line, it's there on that line. And you got the leather jacket here, darks, darks, dark here, and work slightly more on the on his nose for the pointed nose. And you've got the nostril here. Trying to work with the plane. See that plane? All that dark left side of the plane here. Uh, and then um, you have the front plane of the forehead and side plane here. There, there. Then you have got the his eyebrow. He's a bit like looking very perplexed there. So try to get that look of his eyes. Get the the eye the pu no the iris. And then cheekbone, zygomatic here, you've got the cheekbone. And a little bit more of the end of his no nose. Again, we've got that plane of the nose here, right nostril. There we have it. And then under the nose, changing my charcoal, a thinner one. For this line here, look which again is the cast shadow of the nose eyes as we said earlier on then you have the, the back under the eye there you are eyebrow then a little bit off background there, just to emphasize a bit more the the eyebrow there and hair reappears here up here so I'm trying to get that that flick of hair here which goes right under his eye so that hair here, which or that part of the hair here, and then it goes right under the eye. Then you get the hair right around the forehead. The forehead that enters the hairline. And um, there's another trick we can do here. It's to, instead of darken the hair, leaving that light area all around and then darkening the background but with a slightly different method from the hair there you are see dark in the background and leaving that light part to give volume to the hair and also def defines the hair, both. And a little bit of hair here. I guess he's the width of his head. It's slightly bigger. Slightly bigger, so uh, wider, sorry. Not bigger, wider. So what I mean is that, okay, let me explain here what I mean by that. So, from the from his ear to his for, uh, to his eyebrow is the width of that is take that and it's just 
chin to the hairline. So again, eyebrow to the end of the ear, eyebrow to the end of the ear, is the same as chin, chin, that's it, chin to the hairline. So chin to the hairline. Oh, wow. So the hair should go there, not here, there. All right. See, I did feel that there was something wrong with that, and that was it. That's the case. It's there. The ear moves back there. That's a better width of, of Liam. And that would look, hopefully, a bit more like him. And slightly darker. I'm getting the the, the 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 redness of his ear. Now the redness of black and white drawing it's value basically darker value, lighter value. Darker value is the the redness of his of the blood of his ear. Now if we go horizontally that's above the eyebrow. So if the ear stands here, that means it would be above the eyebrow. The eyebrow would be there, there, there. And the eyebrow is something like slightly darker shade. So I'm trying to get the eye cavity. what I'm going on. I don't want to darken it too much so I'm going step by step here. And he's got a very expressive face obviously it's an actor so there you go the middle of his the expression on his eye. I think the nose could go a little bit lower as you know there, the nostril at least, this part a bit lower, and some half tone as well. There, there. Now, this part of his eye, which is basically, let's get again with the. Uh, Is on the line from this part of his eye, the end of his eye, goes to the eyelid of the other eye. So, the eyelid of this eye goes to the, that's where the end of the other, oh, so, the eyelid of his right eye, or his left eye right, top is the bottom of the, the eyelid of his His, his right or our left eye. Now, I know it's confusing, but anyway, you see what I'm doing. Doesn't matter. Is basically what we're doing here. There you are. It's li as little definition as possible. We don't need more than that good enough and then give it a bit of hmm, like sideburn and all this area first of all as I said let's sharpen the chuck give it a nice so what I'm doing here is basically sh flattening this side of the charcoal. It's nothing, nothing to do with the portrait. That's to keep the charcoal flat. So I'm not entering the portrait at all with this. I just want a flat side of the charcoal side by side of the charcoal. Sorry. late at night
much better to work at night, as I said many times, because my neighbors do not walk and, you know, creak, crack the, the, the floor, give their shoes, so it's a lot, it's a lot quieter. Well, here I'm trying to get the, hmm, his hair, the softness of his hair, trying to get it as much as I can here. Um, take some of that dark and then I can use it down here. There. Obviously that will help with this. Um, bag under the eye. A bit wider the bag on that side. We so have an edge here. So give him a bit of a mm, severe look. Again, take some of that dust. Close, closer to his cheekbone. then why not get the background closer you see the high line well the line of the background or the line of his face actually it's quite closer to his nose just there his chin horizontal lines here just to give it a different texture something soft something airy something which surrounds the portrait here mm. actually it's even more even more angular that line here so I, i'm going quite about quite out there so i need to bring it down here actually a vertical line from his nose right there and then that area goes oh the chin goes even more inwards here Darker, darker, darker. And softer here. At least I don't have to go as dark as that. There's no need to go too dark here. It looks a little bit like, well, it looks a lot older to start with. You don't want that. You don't want that on a well known face. Although, 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 I'm not sure that. That looks like him for the time being at all. It doesn't matter. Try to get something, well, try to get things in order here. Expression on his worried face here. And then. Uh, Okay, 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 right. Soft hair here. I uh, probably don't need to get too worried about that at the moment. Let's keep that as it is. Now, some charcoal. I need some charcoal. The thinner one. Charcoal would be a longer charcoal. Not the thinner necessary, necessary, 
necessarily with a long charcoal. It's longer, but it's a bit rounded, so let's give it a... So that works for me like a sandpaper would. Shark on the pencil here. I mean charcoal. So you're checking that. The end of his ear, the lobe, ear lobe goes right on the top of the nostril. Ear lobe, right at the top of the nostril. So the ear lobe should be here on me. Again, it's not much shadow there, but we are just pumping out those shadows. We need them there. Anyway. So just make some shadows where it needs to be and you have the jacket very very dark and sharper here um, what I was going to say here a bit I think he looks a lot longer on me and that's the case yeah that's the issue here so let's see uh, end of his chin to the nostril, nostril to the above the forehead. So let's take this end of his chin to the end of his nose and take that. Just the same as, so from his, okay, from his right eyebrow to the end of his nose is just the same as the end of his nose to the chin. So, Let's do that. End of his nose to the eyebrow. It's from the eyebrow to the left chin. So that the end of the chin is here. So it is there. There you go. Take the chin. Move it inwards like this. Get the shadow. Half tone. Move his flesh tone as it is there, move it under his chin and shadow here. There. And it's just a matter now of getting the right. Okay, his mouth moves downwards this way, there. Then you have middle of his middle of the lip here and lower lip there okay it's an approximate i do say do not work with line because it gives you it defines your drawing but it's not much choice for me to do here so i'm i'm forced to work with lines Lower lip, end of his lower lip, there, and there. Okay, it doesn't look much like Liam as I said, but let's keep going. Maybe it will change. I need some putty rubber here. Putty rubber is to move his nose. Maybe not move the nose up, but highlight the top of his nose here, there. Then uh, There. Um, there. Then uh, the roundness of his chin. 
get is kind of a white of the eye, just a bit brighter than that, just a little lighter. A reflection on his eye a bit more. There. And get those lines here, yeah, soften them a bit more. on the top of his upper lid and just a tiny bit of here at light as you can see I think I've gone too dark here yes I've gone too dark and too I brought that line a little bit too close to the lip push it back a bit more there's no need to go as dark as that. And let's see. What we can do here. I think that eye also is a little bit too low. So what you need to do and what I need to do is to check oh god that's my dog drinking water drinking water okay no way I can escape from noises but anyway okay there lift his eyelid a bit more out here I think that was a bit too low. Okay, there. No, that was too big. Too intense, the eye. So less dark. Less dark. And a little bit of eyelid here at the top. And also bring the eye, the f yeah, the, the eyebrow further up. There. there. I guess a little bit lighter here on the cheekbone. Bring the eye further up. Forehead, yeah, there's something wrong there. That means that, yes, that jaw needs to go a bit further at the back. There, makes him, he needs a little bit width on that side. There you are. Move it upwards a bit more that could drop a bit more his jaw and also bring um, I think he needs to go his forehead moves way more out than what I do have it in mind yes he's suffering on that I think he needs to go a bit further out there Let's try that and see what that does to the portrait. But by doing that, I need to move the eyes a bit further apart. There. By moving the, arm, the eyes further apart, I need to move the nose, adjust the nose as well.
cheekbone, inwards line. There, that's better. Well, it's slightly better, but no. I mean, it still needs work to be done. It's trying to get it with those very few lines, or as very, or as little, very little time, as little time as possible. But it's not. Again, it's not possible, but at least we're trying here. Okay, problems on the way as usual. Now, again, flattening the charcoal sideways here. Mm -hmm. Now that will help with this area. I can leave that area a bit lighter, but still needs to go darker than that. That's where the, the light illuminates the portraits. So everything else should be darker on this side. All this side is one plane. And then keep right here, a bit darker, right here. There. Now that was not intended. Let's keep that a bit. Okay. Oh my god, it's not looking like other talk. Okay, no, 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 no. Needs to keep that light, that eyebrow light there. And a bit of forehead here. There. Okay. to keep the background slightly darker than the hair to lighten up this area of the hair dark leather jacket And um, again, sideburn. Let's see what the ear needs to be highlighted here. I mean, the flesh not where it goes, the dark parts of the flesh not there. So we need to come up here. Here. Yeah, that makes more sense. Give it a little bit of again. It's too sharp. Too sharp. We need to break that. Is Y of the ear, the letter Y inside the ear. I know it's difficult to see it, but okay. Well, the inside of the ear. Let's put it this way. Okay. Mm. Highlight on his neck, 
That line here needs to be fixed. This one. And just a darker, darker tone all around. And give his nose a little bit leaner here at the top. That's better. Yeah. Okay, a little bit darker, a little bit darker. Expression on his eye. Upper eyelid. Okay, don't want to get too much involved with that because it's under a shadow. It's not working properly. Let's see again. We said the end of the lower lid, eyelid here is actually it's not it's not that it's not it's not what I was only saying early on. I think the upper lid eyelid here is it's of course higher than that, but not much higher. So let's take that eyelid here. Okay, I've tried to get the expression, but I think I've gone a little bit overzealous with that eyebrow. Oh, that was a little bit too far up. Okay, lower. No, that's better. And jaw here. Now that highlight is way too bright. Get the expression on his face. There, there. Top part of the upper eyelid, some expression here. Get some flesh tone on that side. There. Give it again. A darker tone under the chin, an overall darker tone under the chin, which goes right under his head. So what I'm talking about is this darker tone here, which enters this area all around here. There, there. So that's what I was trying to get here. Darker, 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 darker. Again, a little bit wider on the face. And the jaw. Don't want to go too bright. Is that's bright enough, not more than that. I'm not bad on this. Okay, a 
little bit more of an edge. All right. Again, too bright, so I'll soften it down a bit more. some more expression again take some darks i'm taking some darks from here from the background darken this more worry lines here and here the lightness. Bit of a drink here. So a bit more puppy rubber. I guess puppy rubber will help. Get a bit of darker puppy rubber here. Work on his chin. Just bring it a bit more rounded. Based on working with dark lines, I'm trying to get it with the um, puppy rub as much as possible. Thin at the top of his. Um, Nose. There you go. Wider cheek. And so you still got a very a oh, much wider face of what I've done here. Yeah, he needs to go wider actually. Let's go again. Let's go again and check it. Okay, the width. So, our ear to his four to the uh, mm, ear to his uh, eyebrow. It's the same with his chin. Actually, smaller than that. Oh wow! Okay, let's do it again. Ear to the eyebrow. It will be from the chin to hairline, but it's lower than the hairline. Okay, okay, okay. So ear to the. Oh, that's okay. So why it looks wider then? No idea. Okay. Yes, bit of background here. He's still working. He's still doing the hairline, just working the background to define his uh, his hair there. Dark on his uh, jacket. A little bit of flesh. I 
that's what make him, makes him wider is the jaw. And that's what it is. Yeah, so lower the jaw here. chin move the chin down a bit more that's a bit better okay starting to get a little bit closer to his look to his likeness the forehead okay I think forehead moves move inside here yeah, there. what I've noticed is the end of the well where the the root of the hair and the forehead meets if you go vertically you will see the end of the nose or the beginning of the nose you might say Again, starting and back and forth work with with the likeness as the battle now. Working on the eyebrow a bit more, working on the forehead a bit more, brightening up, widening it, narrowing it constantly. Keep a light. Keep the lights of the the highlights not too not too bright, not to compete with that. So this is brighter than that. So the flesh tone is brighter than the hairline. So give it a, just a tiny darker tone to the hairline. So we keep our lights as light as possible. The values, which is the forehead, and everything else subdued or under the highlight of the hair uh, for the skin tone so the skin tone the, the light on the skin tone will be the lightest light and the forehead Ages to get the lightness. It's not. It's not easy at all. Okay. A bit of pupil. distance a bit more of a distance between the forehead and the sideburn 
D. Construct that line. It's too, it's too, it's too dark. And it's too sharp. Yeah. It's a bit softer. More appropriate. And getting the background, and then breaking up that line of the hair hairline. Cheekbone a bit further up. And then bring his the muscle of the upper lip quite wide on his portrait. So I'm talking about this all right here. right there moves down here and then on the cheekbone sorry jaw god confusing cheek and jaw what is going on here slightly lighter and then bring back the background move it in move the background or the value of the background inside this flesh zone. Yeah, with the eye wiggling. Yeah. And some highlight above his as well. He's been looking away. Actually his eyes are smaller. It's a funny thing, his eyes are smaller. Okay, so that let's make his eyes smaller actually. Yeah. Yeah. Smaller eyes. Okay, I'll leave it for today and we'll continue tomorrow. It's, it's a bit too late. So, oops, sorry about the noise so far. So good. Or maybe not good at all, but at least we're trying. to see the likeness here so I'll see for what to do tomorrow yes more forehead wider forehead that's what I need to work on tomorrow and then the chin just bring up the chin a bit more yeah I think that's what I use okay hey, hello again here we are same portrait different video well, different time of the day actually. It was at night, not during the night, during the day, uh, and I want to spray it. I want to spray it because by spraying it will give you a lot of. Um, it will be a lot more resilient to the charcoal, the paper itself. So uh, sharpen up the charcoal, hmm? make it quite sharp the edge uh, or and also to keep it as I said earlier on to keep it a, a, a wide surface of charcoal like this hmm? this side this side now it's all flat so when I can go and do some shadows that will appear solid well the shadows will appear solid now before I spray, I could have a few things here, give him hmm, just some highlights on his uh, 
worried look on the nose now why giving it highlights because if you do not if you spray it and if you sp after spraying it not if you spray it after spraying it you cannot do those changes you cannot get the whites whiter is it's impossible obviously so just do that before spraying it clear the highlights where you see them patty rubber the nose tip of the nose his nose is a bit it's a bit it's protruding here so there's a there's a curve on the main on the where the skull is and then that's the soft bit of the nose and lighter here and then as i saw yesterday on the video i think that's a bit too dark so let's get rid of that shadow here because it looks like there's like a birthmark on his uh, chin and there is nothing there so there that's makes yeah it makes it looks more like him anyway if you do not do that so darker um, see I've just darkened that area which gives him a little bit more movement or, or expression on, on, the, on the lower lip then you have that lower part of the lip then you have the shadow uh, or the side of the lip not actually no, it's not even a shadow it's the side of the lip here and um, today it's clearer that he's got clearer eyes well yesterday with a dark with a electrical light I could not see but yes he's got kind of clear eyes in, as in blue eyes so let's give him what well, it's more visible today so two highlights on the eyes make his eyes a bit clearer and um, ta this part of the nose a bit here so just above the nostril highlight this and then coming back and doing that that's very typical of Liam here doing that line there which gives him more expression on the nose here or at least it gets closer to his look if not more expression but it gets closer to his to the likeness of Liam some bit more shadow here top of the nose uh, under the nose I could clear up some highlights which is right here there uh, now we have on that side the cheek but on this side there's no cheek anymore so let's get it going here yeah and also that's a little bit harsh it's a bit too strong the cheek so I could softly merge it with the with the muscle above his upper lip there just by touching it then you can give him a little bit of a philtrum which is that little tiny highlight right up there and that should be enough to give him the turn of the philtrum as the philtrum normally goes on people there forehead probably a bit lighter than that and then some hair coming through give him a bit more volume on the hair um, as I've done it last yesterday the the jaw is better like this it gives him what well, gives him that basically volume that we were missing and then 
to be honest, I, I will artificially think, you know, brightening up this area. Well, there is some light here, but I'm, I'm tempting to brighten up this as well, look. A joy. So I'll concentrate the shadow here, right here. But I don't want to brighten it way too, too much, because again, it will, don't want to get it any lighter than that, although it's getting there. So I don't want to get it much lighter than that. Yeah. And some hmm? just scraping there just to intervene on the hairline there to show that there is hair coming. And that, that soft part of the hair where it merges with the skin and becomes one with the skin there or it's the value of the skin at least. That's a little bit darker there as well. So merge the ear, that area of the ear, you cannot see there. Okay, that area of the ear, which is quite dark here. See, if you squint your eyes, you will see the lightest light is at the top. So basically, <clears throat> what I'm actually doing is increasing the darks there. There's no dark, well, there's a very transparent shadow. So what I'm doing, I'm artificially darkening that. Just to convey my understanding of planes. Dark, well, the side plane, front plane, side plane. <coughs> and as it is side plane, that goes, <coughs> goes away. As I said, getting it slightly darker. Don't want to get it any brighter than that on the light area. Okay, I think I'm pretty much ready to spray it. Now, I'll repeat it again, spraying it because I don't want. I, I want to put some more darks, but I don't think the paper will handle it. The, the, the paper rejects more charcoal now. So, best thing to do in this case is to spray it and then intervene again with some more shadows all right so let's see shake the spray shaking the spray and actually I need very little spray there that should be enough to keep the, as I said, <coughs> sorry for that, to keep the existing tonal value or the existing charcoal, let's put it this way, and not rejecting it. So what I'm doing now, again, I'm sharpening the charcoal. Instead of sharpening it on the, on the usual, um, on the usual, let's say, sandpaper, which is here. Then I can, well, I can sharpen it on, on, the, on the paper itself. Why not? Or, to make it even more effective, here on charcoal, on sandpaper, sorry. Hmm? give you even sharper charcoal edge there and I'm giving it time for it to dry it's dried up there so let's start with where it is already dry on here Darker here, especially darker when I have contrast of light and shadow, which is here, right above the ear.
nicely combed hair so let's not lose that beautiful turn of his hair here and then at the top bringing the chart uh, the background a bit further down here which is basically right at the top of his hair in value that part of the hair is just as almost as dark as the background so I could actually attempt to do that a little bit give it a little bit of a different approach here which is basically why not give it a bit of a because of the spray you see the paper is funny now it's going wave wave and that happens all the time when you spray I probably I put more spray than I needed but it will get better if I wait a bit longer but if I wait a bit longer the video will be a few minutes longer so I'm carrying on as much as I can here there you go and um, coming back giving a bit more of a, his wandering look here he's looking at it it's just what's going on could don't know it could be part of a movie I don't know or it's just a picture and then he just darks 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 there you are and Some highlights on the ch on the cheekbone, eye, nose in itself slightly darker. There, bone structure, which is right, not right at the top where the light illuminates here but I can highlight a little bit lower than right at the where the, the light meets the, the shadow of it so the bone structure so what I'm actually saying is that instead of coming right here and making a sharp edge that will not look very organic on a on a person's on people's on a portrait sorry on a portrait then um, bit darker here there you go and then a uh, bit darker and then as I said concentrate the darks right here on this area of his right on that side here and then highlights or at least some reflected light on this side I'm going way too dark but that's that's the first step here and then obviously coming and soft slight softly by spreading the darks managing all the darks that I have here <sighs> okay getting them a bit less dark than what they actually are at the moment so spreading those darks all right here All this is just to get the reflection on that side, here, on that side of the port portrait. I might have overdone it a little bit. But, but trying to manage it. Huh? And another thing that a lot of 
students are afraid of using darks or going as dark as that. So that's a trial actually. At if it goes off the rails for a while, you can still bring it back. Still, that light could go slightly darker. There. There. And then softly managing it. There. There. Then, right on his face, on his lip, lower lip. And then lower lip down here, which I think is quite light. I don't want to go any dark on that. There. That's it. So you see, darks have gone. They've gone a bit more manageable at the moment. Uh, the other thing I could concentrate doing that expression that he's got here on his. upper eyebrow on the eyebrow here there 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 that's the one and softly getting those make it a little bit more or spreading the darks a bit more evenly, evenly. There you are. And then softly bring in those lines. I'll stop it for a while. All right, again. Uh, okay, so looking at this eyebrow, I think that has gone a little bit dark here. So softly, carefully lifting up some darks. So that's Milo, my dog, moving about as he normally does. And yeah, he. His expression on his again forehead here and keeping some darks out. There's no need to go as dark as that. And no need either to go with very sharp lines on his nose on his nose. And let's work on his upper lip a bit more. A soft shadow of the upper lip above the lower lip. And that line here, there, there. Lightly down. And some highlights here. Some highlights here. And then the skin tone as the skin or the skin moves from his jaw and comes down to his chin right here right there and a little bit of flesh tone here above his very very dark black jacket that's his very dark black jacket there we are and not to go too too starkly dark because it will make a massive contrast with the flesh tone so I don't want to go too dark too quickly there 
I had the jacket up here before, so I moved the jacket a bit lower. That makes more sense. And softly, just softly, get that expression. So leave the cheekbone with some dark tone and lift it up from down here. And bring back this, the whole expression of his cheek. Move it down. Slowly getting that line a bit merged here. Yeah. You don't want to be too dark here. But anyhow, leave it for the time being. Some dark edge edges could be acceptable as well. Some, not a lot. Like for instance here. It's not a it's not a good or it's not a a natural merge of light and shadow sometimes you just leave it as it is not only that I cannot do much about it because I just as I said sprayed it but at the end of the day it's a drawing it's not a photography get some dark contrast here his neck, neck is there, and that hair is here. And possibly getting some darks around the neck. Let me see a vertical line from his eye just drops right there. That's correct, drops here as well. So that's a good sign, he's going well. There you are here. Getting his nostril a little bit more. Round it. Highlight on the nostril and uh, some highlights here. And then a little bit of light right under the back of his eye. A transparent tonal value under your under the back of the eye that will give you a, again a transparent sh shadow here and softly merging those lines in like there there a bit of white of the eye bit of white of the eye around here, white of the eye at the front as well, and then the tear duct, which is not very much seen there, but I can give it a go. There, don't want to darken it too much. Don't want Liam to be seen as he's using makeup. So careful with those darks there. Uh, high, a bit more of highlight here on his eyebrow. There. And some transparent shadow under his eyebrow and the between the eyebrow and his upper eyelid there there So 
softer softer merging lines here Expression here. I think I can move that more expression on his hair. He's got really rich hair, beautiful rich hair. So let's do that. Let's give him what he already has. Loads of hair here. There you are. Okay. Uh, well, I think I've gone a bit, a bit too dark with the lip here, and it looks slightly younger on me, which is a, a, a first, really. I don't normally make people look younger. Quite the opposite. But anyway, it's not. I think what makes him look younger, and I've done him quite a bit of a eyebrow here, so give him bit softer the eyebrow just merge it with the skin tone soft hey a softer merge of lines right here in between the two eyes there above the nose and what I've missed is cast shadow of the nose above his above his uh, upper lip there. and a highlight of his upper lip sort of highlight in it with darks I can give a upper eye line line and a lower line there you go And a little bit of a half tone here. Okay. <coughs> oh, sorry. Sorry about this. Okay. Bit of neck again. He looks younger on me, very strangely. Well, because I haven't emphasized a lot of his, I would say, bag under the eye here. Yeah. There. One. I don't want to emphasize it a lot more because it will make him then a lot older. So I think that's good enough. I think also what makes him younger is that he's got a bit wider face in reality. And smaller. Okay, not much more to go. It's pretty finished. Again, it's a hopefully younger version of Liam, which is not a bad thing actually. Yeah, it's uh, here. They've given him a lot more hair right here. That needs to be merged here with the background and pushed back. So what I can do actually is to, just to a drastic move here to lose that side of his hair. I think I've given him too much hair here. All right. 
Okay, let's see. Kind of, yes. Kind of better. A bit less of that white. A bit more restricted there. There, there we are. Oh well, yeah. Not expected. Expressive background. All right, and what's the date today? I think it's the fifth, not the sixth. Six. Oh, the ninth, two thousand twenty-one. All right, see you on the next one then. Bye bye. Have a good day, I would say. As it is day now, Probably during the night. Think. Bit, bit of a light there, and then uh, yeah. Sorry about the light coming through the window, but yeah, you can see that. See you on the next one.